please remove the sticker or rubber stopper at the bottom of the machine's arm. Mount arm vertically on machine and tighten. Connect the air pump. Remove the rubber stopper and mount the handpiece. Power the device on by turning the key clockwise. From left to right, the switches are the emergency switch, the guide volume button, and the guide beam switch. You can choose the UI screen for each handpiece. After setting the value on UI and pressing standby, you can perform the treatment by using the foot switch. You can control the brightness of the guide beam by adjusting the volume button. When beam button is on, the guide beam will not work when pressing the foot switch. When the beam button is off, the guide beam will work properly. Operate the standby button depending on the patient's skin condition after setting the value on the UI. Perform treatment on moles, Oda Nevis, and any other pigmented areas. When connecting, tighten it by using a tool. Connect the scanner and guide parts. Please fasten tightly to use. Operate standby button depending on the patient's skin condition after setting the value on the UI. In addition to UI manipulation, you can adjust the size of the guide beam by using a joystick on the top of the scanner. Replace scanner guide with the nose specific parts. Operate the standby button depending on the patient's skin condition after setting the value on the UI. Curved areas of the skin can be treated by using nose tips. To replace with vaginal probe, you use take out the lens inside of the scanner by using the nose tip. Connect the vaginal lens with scanner. you can connect vaginal probe at 45 degrees. You can connect vaginal probe at 360 degrees.
Operate Standby button depending on the patient's skin condition after setting value on UI. When you make a vaginal treatment, you can pull out the 45 to 360 degree probe one by one graduation on the vaginal guide. By shooting the laser at the inside of the vaginal wall, you can see the improvement effect of vaginal tightening.